Scenes channel, my name is Jo Osmond and I am playing Miss Daisy Brooks. So I'm four foot four, so about the height of a nine or ten year old child. So all the children are actually taller than I am. And the whole idea of the story is more so never to judge someone on their appearance. It's me! That's so cool! World's worst excuse for not doing your homework. My dog ate it. I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we had homework. World's worst idea for a Darman Studios film. Guy gives to charity, instantly regrets it. <laughs> Guy bullies Groundhog, instantly regrets it. <laughs> World's worst childhood game. Squid game. <laughs> Red light, green light. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My man. World's worst Olympic sporting event. Professional chicken throwing. There you go. Awkward. Pausing. <laughs> I feel like whenever I go for any audition, whether the audition is for a little person or not for a little person, I always get the same reaction. So the casting directors only ever see this much of me. And then when I walk in on the audition, I open the door and they always go, oh, hello. Every time. <laughs> I'm always a little surprise to everyone. <laughs> Because I'm not your typical little person, but I'm also not your typical average type person. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> should definitely do paper. Paper, scissors, shoot! Ah, paper versus paper. Let's choose scissors. <laughs> Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yeah! Paper, scissors, shoot! Actually, funny story, I'm about to do a job now next week. They want me on Heelys. Now, if anyone watching this knows anything about Heelys, please send me some tips, because I've never done Heelys before. Can any of you use yes. Heelys? Yes, I can. Will you please be my teacher? Yes. I've never done them. I need some tips. OK, yeah, so someone told me I have to do them really, really tight. OK, now just Which foot forward? I'm right-handed. OK, so you're right. Honestly, just see what feels more comfortable first. Everything's going to be OK. Welcome to British Word of the Hour. Now, all the students have just had a lot of water to drink, so I think they might be needing to go to the loo. I ate too many beans and now I have to go to the loo. I have to go to the loo because I just have to go to the loo. <laughs> Earlier I went to the loo and it was not pleasant. <laughs> that guy over there used the loo and he stunk you. it up. Hi guys, I'm Kaz Zander and welcome to Darman News. And I'm Lucy Grisavi. Today, we're gonna be going into multiple shops around the mall and you know, checking out what's happening. Yeah, and um, in this fashion shop, there seems to be a Black Friday sale chaos going in here. With two boys fighting over a Darman hoodie. Let's check it out. Give me the Darman! Yeah, this is the new Darman merch. It makes sense that they would be fighting over it, by Very the way. Very high quality. This well, Darman you know, hoodie. this is an exclusive Darman hoodie. It's almost Christmas time, so, you know, I need it. Now, we are going to be interviewing the people in the general store. It seems that there's an armed robbery going in here. Let's check it out. How does it feel to be stealing this new PlayStation 3? Um, well, you see, so my brother, we've stumbled across our dimes, and you know, that PS3 is really gonna help him. He's been wanting one since, what was it, 2008? It came out. He's been wanting one so bad. So. You're a good kid. Take this. Tell your brother. Thank you so much. Oh How heartwarming. Back to you, Johnny. Thanks, Lucy. Well, we're here at the donut shop where there appears to be some kind of a Zumba class going on. Come here with me. All right, I'm gonna try to get an exclusive interview with one of these crazy sugar fiends. Hello, sir, Mr. Person. What? Oh. <laughs> these Would you like some donuts? Would you like some donuts? When things come to you live, crazy stuff like this can happen. And that's why you should always watch Darman News, nothing else. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Ooh, look at the store. Hmm. <laughs> can we have this? No, it's not. You know, you can only take Louis Vuitton and we don't have oh. that here. This I is need mine you to now. calm down. I need, I need you to, to calm relax. down. Why? Because, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. 
So thanks for tuning in to the British word of the hour. In this current hour, the British word is rubbish. Oh boy, this bin is full of rubbish. God save the Queen. We need to go <laughs> take out the rubbish. That kid over there is rubbish. That's rubbish. Go throw that in the rubbish bin. I can't believe this rubbish. To be fair, that was rubbish. <laughs> this is how we do it. Hey yo guys, hip hip hooray. This, this is how we do it. it. I'm sitting here about to eat my penne. This is how we do it. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling loose. This is how we do it. And I'm about to drink this jug of juice. This is how we do it. I'm feeling nice, I'm feeling clean. This is how we do it. Maybe cause I got some Dove cream. This is how we do it. I'm not a huge fan of internet trolls. This is how we do it. So I'm gonna go give them some rolls. This is how we do it. All right, for this game, you have to guess what celebrity you are based on our interview questions. Where did your um, famous line, yeah, come from? I used to play ball back with a good friend named Yeah. Um, what is it like taking care of your pet pig? Bigatha is 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 my favorite animal. Do you have like a lot of rings, like maybe seven or something? <laughs> yes. So when you want something, do you just say, I want it, I got it? <laughs> no. I have a question. Um, so if you were to order a Starbucks drink, would you like tall, grande, vente, or grande? I am Ariana Grande. Yeah! How does it feel being on the Darman crew? It feels really great because the Darman crew is like a family. How long did it take you to learn how to use a camera? Honestly, I learned instantly because I am the one and only Rushi, so. Mm. <laughs> how, how do you ask such good questions? Am I Tyler? Yeah! Yay! How long did it take you to grow your beard out? Only a couple of years. Have you ever gotten arrested for breaking in and entering? Uh, no. When was the first time that you uh, delivered a present? On, on, on. Birthday? I don't really understand. How is your voice so high pitched for who you are? <laughs> Am I Elvis? No. What is your favorite holiday? Jack Skellington? <laughs> <laughs> Easter Bunny. No! <laughs> Do you really like the snow, or is it like a little too cold for you? What? Who is your favorite reindeer? Santa Claus? Yeah, yeah. nice job. Um, how long did it take you to get so strong? Five years. Where did your inspiration for your new song come from? <gasps> it came from hard work. You occasionally come out in movies? Am I the rock? Yeah! <laughs> it's about drive, it's about power, we stay hungry, we devour, put in the work, put in the hours, it takes what's ours. How do you like living under the sea? It's very tough, you know? Do you like working at a burger place? Very hard, because I have to deal with the co-workers, so. Have you ever been bitten by a crab before? Yeah, I do remember this one vivid time. It was very harsh. What's your opinion of squids? Very annoying. Before you answer, are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Ah! I'll SpongeBob. Thanks for tuning in to British Word of the Hour. I've got Elijah here to demonstrate the next British oh. word. Do you mind taking your jumper off? Uh. Take off your jumper, it's way too hot out here. Oh, hello, I got my jumper from the loo, which was probably a big mistake considering it smelled like rubbish. Hey, he used all three! Do you do an American accent? I can give you a little snippet of my American accent. Um, can I get a water? That was good! <laughs> nice. What's it been like working with the kids? I love working with the kids. Yeah, they're all so refreshing. They've got such a great energy about them. And um, it's really exciting to see like where they're gonna go in the future because they're brilliant. I mean, you've seen their improvisation skills are on point. For this game, you're hosting a party and you have to guess your party goers quirks. <laughs> it's time for my party. Are people already here now? Hey, man. <coughs> you, you, you feeling all right? <laughs> oh yeah. You must be infected or something. Who's now? Julie? I mean, uh, Anthony, are you? Oh. Really, he's, he's playing the floors locker. You got it, you're right. It's happening. Oh. No! <laughs> she turned it into a zombie! You got it, nice job! What have been some of the challenges that you've faced? 
Oh my goodness. Well, the thing is, when you're a little person, a lot of the time you don't see them as challenges because you've never known any different. So, you know, things being out of reach or when I drive my car, I have to use pedal extensions so I can reach the pedals. I've never known any different. That's always what I've had to do. However, day-to-day -day life, a big challenge is when you do meet people for the first time. It's nerve-wracking for anyone, but when you're a little bit different, you've always got that initial shock factor. Um, which is a good thing because people always remember you, they never forget you, but that could be a bad thing too actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, you have to kind of, sometimes you have to overcompensate for that because you want to show that you can do the same thing as everyone else, you just do it a little bit differently. Hey Darman fam, always remember to treat people with kindness. Hey Darman fam, always remember when you're driving through a tunnel, hold your breath. Hey Darman fam, always remember to never put a fork into a toaster. Hey Darman fam, always remember to vacuum your toilet water. <laughs> <laughs> hey Darman fam, always remember to not open your fridge when the power goes out. Uh, <laughs> we're not just telling lives. We're changing stories. Nice. We're not just telling stories, but we're getting paid to goof off with Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. We're not just telling stories, we're making money. We're not just telling stories, we're making new friends. We're not just telling stories, we're recording videos for behind the scenes. Hey. We're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys a magic trick. You guys gotta say bippity boppity puke. Ready? One, two, three. Bippity boppity puke. Whoa! No, wait. Thank you. Uh, okay, so how does it feel to be famous for being famous? There's a lot of different ways you can achieve success, and I think the best way is through good looks and charm. How long do you take to put your makeup on every day? Oh, let me tell you, it is a process. But in order to learn more about the process, you're just gonna have to subscribe to my channel. So Here. how does it feel to have such an amazing big family of celebrities? Well, I mean, all my sisters are famous, as you know. As somebody who's married to a musician named Kanye, yes. I am Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and Woo! Kim Kardashian West. Hey, settle down. She's your new teacher. Sorry, let me tell you. You're right. But let's just say, oh, sorry, can you look? <laughs> Wait, are you a student or a teacher? <laughs> hey, hey, settle down. That was the worst high five ever. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, oh my god, wait, I'm so sorry. Oh, but I have to warn you, I have. Oh, sorry, can we do that again? As you all know, I may have heard, as you all may have <laughs> I just hired someone who's not only smart, that line is that, sorry, I wasn't saying it that way, I'll go back. Since you're so tall, do you mind erasing this for me? <laughs> First, you multiply the How about I introduce you to your new class? You kids don't listen. It sounds great. The test scores are the worst in the school. I have to warn you. And you keep breaking all the rules. I have a unique Hello. way of teaching. 